Okay guys, so this is your final pre-lab uh, demonstration video. This is reactions for the reaction of hard water, which is water with lots of minerals, with uh, soapy water. Now the first thing I want to point out is that it's, uh, it's impossible to have the soapy water without pieces of soap in it. So we're going to try really, 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 really hard to move soapy water into the hard water without taking any of the pieces with it. And that's the entire reaction, by the way. Everything else we're going to do for this lab is what comes after the reaction. So you start with one of these eyedropper pipette things. And what I'd recommend is go to the bottom of the soapy water container to draw out your soap because the soapy pieces, the pieces of soap will stick to the surface. They float. So if you go straight to the bottom and then squeeze your bulb to push out any air, that gets rid of any pieces that might be attached to it. And then draw it up slowly and take a look. And try to avoid pieces of soap. Okay? So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go in and draw off the bottom. And if I do it carefully, I'll get soapy water, but not soap. Now as I do this, and I keep drawing off more and more of this, if I get a piece of soap, I just have to uh, squeeze it back out to get rid of those pieces of soap, and then add it over here. Use your uh, popsicle stick to sort of mix things around. And you'll notice pretty quickly that there are floating bits of things in the hard water. But the question is whether or not they are soap or are they soap scum, the precipitate that we're making. So let me drop one or two more. See there, I got a big piece of soap that I don't want. So I'm going to make sure when I add it in here that it doesn't go in. Because my job, my challenge that Mr. C has given me is to prove that the stuff that I'm making is not soap. And so the easiest way to do that is to make sure that there's no soap going in there. So again, I'm going to draw some more soapy water, trying to avoid pieces of soap off the bottom. So I don't want to disturb it. Put it in there. Okay, now I'm going to give this another stir. Let the reaction take place. Now to collect the precipitate, I use a coffee filter and a plastic beaker. Put the coffee filter in there. You wanna fold the edges over the top so that it doesn't fall in. And then it's really simple. You just add your mixture, soapy water and hard water, which will have the soap scum in it. Add that slowly and let it drip through. Give it some time. It will drain through the coffee filter and when it comes out, the bottom of the coffee filter will be uh, just liquid. What we're trying to catch is the solid that will be on the coffee filter. So let that happen for a few seconds more. Let the liquid pour through. Let the solid collect. Liquid, move its way through the filter. You want to get as much water as possible out of the filter so that what's left in the filter will all be soap scum. That's the idea. And if I do it right, I'll end up with a whole lot of soap scum. Notice that I'm using the popsicle stick to move the liquid around up here. That helps it go through the uh, filter, but you want to make sure you don't put a hole in the filter because obviously that's going to make it hard to separate the soap scum from the water. So I've almost got the water gone here. I'll go ahead and help the water find its way through leaving behind my soap scum. And then the last step, once I've got it pretty much water free, as dry as I can make it, is to lay the coffee filter out and start to let it dry, but gently scraping it with the popsicle stick and I'll bring together a little bit of white stuff 
And that's my soap scum. The final part of this challenge is to prove that that stuff is not soap. And you're going to have lots of different supplies to choose from, but your team has to find the best way to make that happen.